Today, thousands of softball players get to Salem ahead of this weekend's International Softball Federation World Cup. It's an event that brings huge payoff to the city of Salem and the entire region, including local hotels as well as restaurants. WSLS10's Aaron Brookshire joins us live to explain what makes this event so much different. Aaron, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, typically when tournaments like this are in our area, they're for high school or college sports, meaning that three or four teammates will be bunked together in each hotel room. But with adult leagues like this, each teammate typically gets their own room. 97 teams are participating this week, which means as many as 8,000 hotel room nights will be booked throughout the weekend. Now, last year, the teams were split up among 28 different hotels, extending this tournament's reach really throughout the valley. It's the whole gamut of everything. It's our hotels, it's our restaurants, it's Kroger's, it's Walmart, it's our gas stations. It's the whole aspect of trying to bring new people into our valley, which will be representing 17 different states, and we have no local teams at all. So every person that's coming has to get a hotel room. Now the games end between 6 and 7 p.m. each night, meaning these adult softball players also have plenty of time to go out to dinner. And as adults, they're willing to spend a little more than the youth leagues enjoying finer dining in downtown Roanoke and across the region. But there are also some staples they're expected to visit between games, like Chick-fil-A, which is just a few minutes from Warrior Park. Our marketing director has a calendar that she maintains in the office and it stays full of local events and we're very thankful for that because our local leaders work hard to bring these events here and we prepare for it, we staff up, we order and we make sure that we've done everything we can to serve guests and that they get to experience our local hospitality. Vanessa tells me she and her husband Shane love to see all of the athletes in their restaurant coming straight over between games and their cleats and uniforms. Now coming up in the next half hour, I'll have more on how the city of Salem is working with surrounding regions to have an even bigger impact on the Roanoke Valley as a whole. I'm Erin Brookshire, WSLS 10.